are in my pocket. It was a lovely sunny sands afternoon and I was playing with Gordon, my toy seagull. Beowulf was playing with his bird toy, a squeaky chicken. There's a good boy. Oh, what can you smell from the kitchen? Something delicious, eh? Wolfie could smell Mum's new hobby, which was making puddings. And she had an upside down pineapple pie in the oven. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Go on, Wolfie, go and see who's at the door. It was Mr. Whoops. Mr. Whoops? Oh, <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Oh, and hello, Wolfie. Oh, you're pleased to see me. You are a little cutie, aren't you? He is. He wouldn't be without Wolfie. That's it, you see. That's why I've come round to talk to you. I'm going to get a dog, see? Mr. Whoops, what a great idea. I bought the food and the bones and some uh, squeaky toys. <laughs> <laughs> but not the dog yet. I know what you should do. You should practice having a dog. Take Wolfie for the day. He'll be good as gold in your shop. Are you sure? Of course. He's so easy to look after. Oh, Wolfie, yes. Little did Grandpa and I know that today was going to be... Wolfie's Day with Mr. Whoops. Do you think we'll be all right? Of course you will. Wolfie practically tells you what he wants. Well, that's handy. Yes, he's an amazingly clever dog. Mmm. Nice smell. Yes, upside down pineapple pie. Burning. Oh. Bye. Wolfie. Wolfie. He's gone off with Mr. Whoops for the day. What? Well, just for the day. Well, the, Mr. Whoops wants a dog, so I said he needed practice. Oh, the strawberry bomb's ready. Mr. Whoops is looking after Wolfie. Hmm. Bit of a problem. I'll ask Mum if she can take us to the toy shop. Well, we've got to go there, Jason. You know what Mr. Whoops is like. Mum! <gasps> Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops oh. because he's always having little accidents. Whoa. He falls off things, he falls over things, he even trips over his own feet. Whoops! Mum says she can't take us, Grandpa, because she's up to her ears in pudding. Well, in that case... I'll have to go myself. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of things. He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. He can drive off in my car. He can get into all sorts of very small places. And often, he runs so fast, you've no idea where he's gone. And today, he was getting on to Gordon, my toy seagull. No, Grandpa! Grandpa had decided to go to Mr. Whoops' shop on Gordon. So we've got biscuits here, Wolfie, and, uh, oh, and bones, <laughs> oh, and special doggy treats, and a uh, water bowl. And a food bowl, and a, oh, and a toy. <laughs> I've got some more out the back. Grandpa flew in and landed near Wolfie. Here we are, Wolfie. <laughs> oh, I'll get you some water. Psst, Wolfie, come here. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Just do as I say. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Goodness, for a minute I thought you shouted, Whoa! Oh dear, what a mess! Of course, it wasn't Wolfie who shouted, Whoa! It was Grandpa! I can't believe I'm so clumsy! Go and get a cloth. Where are you off to? Oh, what a clever dog you are! <laughs> While Mr. Whoops was cleaning up, this is what was happening at home. Please can I go to the toy shop, Mum? Please! Not yet, Jason. I've still got lots of puddings to make. Don't worry about Wolfie. He'll be fine. I'm not worried about Wolfie. Good. I don't think Grandpa can be either. He's gone for a little lie down. Meanwhile, back at Mr. Whoops' shop, Mr. Whoops had cleaned up the water, 
and was about to open some dog food for Wolfie. Now, I should have asked Jason's mum which one you'd prefer. I don't suppose you'd be able to tell me. Lamb or chicken? Chicken. Oh, my word. That sounded like chicken. Jason's mum was right. You do say what you want. Chicken it is. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, dear. How silly of me. Mr. Whoops was ever so close to Grandpa, so he made a dash for it, and Wolfie ran after him. Go and fetch a brush, Wolfie. Where are you going now? Wolfie was going to fetch a brush. You're an amazingly clever dog. Thank you. Here. Grandpa had to stay as near as he could to Wolfie. He made sure Mr. Whoops wasn't looking. Then he made another dash for it. What do you want to do now, eh? Play. I think you said play. You're in a toy shop. Of course you want to play. <laughs> Here we go then. Fetch. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> go and fetch your lead, Wolfie. We've got to get out of here. So Wolfie fetched a lead. Oh, you want to go for a walk, do you? That's a good idea. Where shall we go? Beach. The beach? Of course. Here we go. Grandpa was looking forward to flying to the beach on Gordon, but just then... Gordon, what are you doing here? Jason must have left you here by mistake when he last visited. Come along. We'll give Gordon back to him when I take you home, Wolfie. Come on, Wolfie. <laughs> Grandpa had no way of getting to the beach. Until, that is, he spotted this. A kite. Meanwhile, back at home, I was in my bedroom looking out at the lighthouse. Mum was still making puddings. I was missing Grandpa and was wondering what he could be doing. But I didn't have to wonder for long. There he was on the end of a kite. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. He was making for the beach. I ran downstairs as fast as I could. Mum, please can we go to the beach? Not now, Jason. I'm still busy. Why the beach? Um, I just felt like it. <laughs> None of my plans were working today. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I had been right. Grandpa was heading for the beach and he landed on the roof of our beach hut. Grandpa made a quick escape, but Wolfie saw him. Goodness me! That looks just like the kite in my shop. How did that get there, I wonder? I'll get it down. Whoops! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Oh! Oh, I can't get up. How silly. Now look what I've gone and done. Hurt both my legs. How could I be so clumsy? Go and fetch Jason, quick. Wolfie, come back. Just when I was wondering what to try next, who should appear at the kitchen door? Wolfie. Mum? Mr. Whoops must be in trouble. Wolfie's come to get us. Oh dear. Well, we'll have to go and find him. But where do you think he is? I guessed Mr. Whoops was at the beach, but I needed to check. I had an idea. Wolfie's paws are sandy, Mum. That means Mr. Whoops must be at the beach. I'll go and tell Grandpa where we're going. No, 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 no. No time for that, Mum. Anyway, Grandpa won't want to be disturbed. Come on. Right. So off we went to the beach in Campo, and Mum said, I wonder how Wolfie knew he should come home to fetch us. And I said, I just think he's an amazingly clever dog, Mum. When we got to the beach, Mum put a bandage on both Mr. Whoops's legs. Oh, you are a clever dog, you really are. I don't think I'll get a dog of my own. I think I'll borrow you again. <laughs> <laughs> I looked round for Grandpa, and there he was, peeping out from behind the beach hut. I quickly picked him up and put him in my pocket. Gordon was in my toy shop, Jason. 
You left him there the last time you came in. <laughs> right, Mr. Whoops, now all you have to do is to come home with us for tea. When we got home, I ran ahead of Mum and Mr. Whoops. I put Grandpa down. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Well done, Jason. And well done to you, Grandpa. I knew Mr. Whoops would need our help. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork! <laughs> Mr. Whoops felt a whole lot better after eating a huge bowl of Mum's special trifle. Mmm, that was delicious. That's made my day. Well, Mr. Whoops, you were supposed to be looking after Wolfie, and instead, Wolfie looked after you. I know, and you were quite right. He tells you exactly what he wants. Trifle. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs>